If you've been following this channel, you probably know that I'm currently on a mission to play as many movement shooters as I can possibly find. Movement shooters were at one point kind of a dying breed, and over the past decade or so, even really great additions to the genre like Titanfall 2 sort of fell on deaf ears. It seemed for a while that the gaming industry had moved past these movement-focused games. Until recently. Movement games have made huge waves in the indie scene, and even AAA developers are starting to take notice and in introducing interesting and fast-paced movement mechanics into their games. It hasn't happened overnight, but slowly and surely, movement shooters and movement games in general have made a big comeback. And things are about to get a whole lot more interesting. Steam does this event a couple times a year where a bunch of demos for upcoming games get released that they call Steam Next Fest. Since I've been more and more actively looking for games to play and cover on my channel and Twitch stream, checking out demos for NextFest has become somewhat of a beloved ritual for me, and this latest batch of demos was no different. In fact, to my very pleasant surprise, this batch of demos released for or around February's NextFest was absolutely littered with promising retro FPS games and movement shooters that I just had to try. So here is a look at some of the best demos that I was able to get my hands on. Man, a game like this has, like, no right being as pretty as it is. <laughs> Duelies. Oh, shit, we going in. Man, you move- <laughs> your, like, regular move speed is actually just so fast. Slide? Don't mind if I do. I just love how you just Thanos snapped them out of existence. Yeah, the, the movement tech feels amazing. Chainsaw slide. That's right, you have a chainsaw leg. I forgot, that's this game's gimmick. So you have a fucking chainsaw for a leg. Beautiful. <laughs> Man, this game is sick. Uh, I love games that just, like, let you move fast. I know that sounds like so asinine of a comment, but... It's nice to just, like, not move at a snail's pace. Yeah, the weapons feel awesome. Oh, god, I love- they just keep giving me new ones. I- I hate the- the worst part about this demo is gonna be that it has to end. Movement speed may or may not get faster? Holy. That's fun. Guns, guns, guns. Ooh, I want to upgrade the, uh, what's this? Slower fire rate, but far more damage. Sure, we'll go for that. Is this like a dead end? I just need to backtrack now to... Oh, hello. Let's try this out. Oh, I see. Oh, you kind of just swap between them. I don't, I don't hate that. Is this my blue door? I think that's my blue door. We in. Oh, we got a boss. Oh, fuck, dude. I'm in a bad spot. Oh. Well, there we go. <laughs> uh, oh, he comes out again. Okay, great, great, great. There's a little, little shotgun tech there. Yeah, it does. It kind of blasts you back. Wait, that's sick. Holy shit, everything about this game just feels so good. Oh, and it's got like low poly Ghost Runner aesthetic. Oh, now this guy's just a normal enemy. Holy shit. I'm not sure I follow the story other than like chainsaw leg guy commit murder. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you gotta rev it up. Okay, okay. Although, I, I'm always down for, like, some kind of, like, environmental storytelling, if you will. I don't need- I don't need this story to be shoved down my throat. <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck. Not what I wanted. Oh, how about this? <laughs> oh my. God, it's so fun. It's just so fun. <laughs> I don't even have anything to say. It's just, it's just amazingly fun. No, 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 no. <laughs> no way. No way. 
when the kill is turbo over. That didn't really work. I have no brain space for, for funnies right now. I just I only want to kill things with my chainsaw leg. You're dead. Is that Big John? Wow! Oh, hello. What an interesting and fun spawn point. These levels are actually kind of big, and I feel like the uh, the Ghost Runner comparison was not the, as as far off as I expected it to be. Come on, come on, come on! Line them up, line them up. A new weapon. Oh, is it the super shoddy? Oh, it's beautiful. Wah. <laughs> Huh. Oh, fuck. God, I didn't even realize you were... It's just like dusk all over again. The fucking turrets, man. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Oh, nice. Very nice. Ayo, new foot just dropped. Oh my god, am I gonna unlock wall running? <laughs> uh, it is Ghost Runner. I think I just hold it down, right? Yeah. Yeah, just like Ghost Runner. We jump. Oh, yeah, you can, like, climb as you wall jump. Give me that key. And now what do we got? Good, a good old thumping. Man, CD Projekt Red been real quiet since Turbo Overkill demo dropped. Good old thumping. Explosive damage to enemies when landing on the ground from a height. Oh, it's a bit like uh, Boomerang X kind of had that. That needs a key, so it looks like we're going down. <laughs> good thing I got that augment, huh? Okay, I just couldn't move. What is this, Dark Souls? Did I get hit by a train? <laughs> Damn it. What are you? How about you just stick those to your... Stick those to your titties. <laughs> Man, I love this thing. I feel like this is definitely my favorite weapon so far. Although I have like no complaints about any of them. Oh my god. You know, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. It's my favorite way to deal with these guys. Oh. Is this it? Is this it? Oh shit. That, well that was, I mean it goes without saying that was awesome. I love that. So much of modern retro FPS games rely on borrowing from and paying homage to titans of the genre. And that isn't inherently a bad thing, but there is already a sea of games that fit this bill out there. Now, I've been following the development of Turbo Overkill since before the demo dropped on Steam, and I had a suspicion that this game might be a different case. So I'm extremely happy to report that Turbo Overkill is not only an excellent boomer shooter by all measures, but actually a really interesting iteration on the genre, and not at all just a clone. It actually borrows just as much from some modern games as it does from traditional boomer shooters, even borrowing elements from some rather unexpected places. And it has elements that are, in my opinion, almost totally unique. And even despite just how much is packed into even just this small teaser for the full game, it all just works together beautifully. All the weapons feel great, both in their primary and secondary fire. The movement is blisteringly fast and littered with tech. And the level design, maybe the most surprising aspect of all, is... I actually don't even know what to compare it to. It's like Ghost Runner meets a Doom, maybe? I'm totally blown away by how cool and unique these levels ended up being. And their design complements the game's movement abilities and weapons perfectly. Not only that, but the levels are littered with secrets and things to collect. And best of all, they aren't just pointless. Even in the demo, there's new abilities and augments to discover and secret levels to unlock. If I had just one minor complaint, it was that some of the forced backtracking sections sort of killed the momentum of some levels. It would have been nice if reaching a dead end unlocked a shortcut or a way back to where you need to be instead of making you backtrack. It wasn't always clear when I needed to backtrack versus when I should keep looking for a way forward, which led to a couple of instances where I got lost. At least the game repopulates areas that you've already been through with new enemies to fight and stuff like that, so when you backtrack it isn't all bad, and once you start encountering enemies again at least you know you're on the right path. I can't help but feel like this still could have been executed a bit better, but all in all it's a really minor complaint. I want to give this game commendations on two fronts. On one hand, the demo is really nicely crafted to give you a taste of all the great things this game has to offer, and it doesn't overstay its welcome one bit. 
On the other hand, it is so clear from the demo that everything about this developer's vision is just clicking perfectly together that I absolutely cannot wait to play more of this game. I need it now and no amount of demo is possibly going to satisfy my desire for more turbo overkill. You almost certainly have not seen the last of this game on this channel, mark my words. And if your interest should be piqued by any one game in this video, let it be this one. Jumping makes you go faster. Run and jump to finish the level. Wait, wait, what? Try again. I guess I'm improving. Yeah, baby. A plus, baby. Look how good I am at the game. This is just aim labs. You don't even have to move. <laughs> I still gotta see. Aim Labs update be looking different. I think the game is like this, FYI. It's all about just like completing everything as fast as possible. Oh, we can do better. Is that my best? I actually don't know if that was better than, oh yeah, it was better. I can actually see this game being very addictive for that alone. Like, yeah, come on, I can improve on this by 0.1 seconds. Okay, actually, dashing makes you go faster, too. Ooh, this game is like, uh, it's delivering the dopamine hits, you know? Yeah, it's like the Titanfall gauntlet, but like the entire game is that. <laughs> Gotta keep like crashing into shit. I can skull this. Let's go! He's a gamer! Oh, it's A+, plus, but it shows a skull over here. Weird. Alright. <laughs> when the whole level is two seconds. <laughs> Ooh, it just went to... It just went to gold. Ooh, bullet time? Oh, uh, right click, okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Someone's gonna change everything. What am I doing? Okay. That's probably as good as I'm gonna do on that for now. Oh, yeah. You know it's gotta have a shotgun, right, guys? Of course there's a shotgun. What's going on with like the video frame right here? Why are they showing me a slideshow about the shotgun? It just says switching weapons depending on the situation is very important. Yeah, yeah, I've like I've played a game before. Psh. Casual stuff. Watch this. <laughs> There we go. We got it. One, 170 already. No, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> Fuck. I was stuck. What is the cutoff? I swear to God. Oh, uh, it's like less than a second off. Ooh, shockwave? You shockwave to break planks and insta jib your enemies. All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Yet again. There we go. <laughs> it works somehow. Gold. Shit. I need to use my slow mo. Uh oh. I don't think I got the like slide speed boost there. There it is. Oh. Who needs slow mo? Maybe a little bit there.
No, yet again, I did it. <laughs> Aim God no more. I'm out. I'm out of juice. I'm out of juice. <laughs> wow, that was actually a better time. All right. <laughs> With the popularity of speedrunning FPS games surging over the years, it was inevitable that something like War Stride challenges would eventually exist. I just don't know that I ever would have expected that the resulting game would be this fun and appealing. Right off the bat, it was apparent to me just how fun and addicting trying and retrying to improve your times could be. It's almost like a racing game with an FPS skin, but regardless of if that sounds cool to you or not, just trust me, it's awesome. I'm imagining that there are plenty of weapons and abilities that we haven't seen yet, and I'm excited to see what else the game has in store. My biggest concern right off the bat is that the linear nature of the levels that we've seen so far will lead to players kind of optimizing all the fun out of the game, and that the game will too quickly be perfected. I hope to be proven wrong since I saw how fun it could be to potentially try over and over and over to improve your times, and I hope that fighting for those better scores will be worth it until long after the game releases in full, instead of a more sloggy progression where there's nothing new or cool to discover and the game just becomes about shaving milliseconds off your time. But the level of fun and polish already present in the demo has me hopeful that the devs are already thinking about this. And as it stands, even if that does end up being the case, the game is really fun in its current state and will likely be worth a playthrough when it releases regardless. Just a quick side note here, Shady Knight was not a Steam Next Fest demo, but it is a great game that I'm very excited for and I think it fits in nicely with these other games that I'm showing off here. Oh man, this game feels good. <laughs> you can kick. Dude, I love a I love a game with a good kick. I'm gonna have to fall completely off the edge at least once so Apollo gets his clip. What's this? Holy shit! Wait! Oh I see. Step into the portal. <laughs> Wait, this game this game is awesome. It feels really good. The kicking is so fun. What? There it is. You're the ultra kill guy, right? Am I, is that is that who I am now? Is this the ultra kill guy? I mean, yeah, sure, I'll take that. Yes, I am the ultra kill guy. Oh, I got a D. <laughs> I was about to hop in and tell you about Shady Knight, but I think you are already playing it. I think I'm already playing it as well. Wait. Give me the sword. There's the sword. I love the like different combos. Yes, it's me, the ultra kill and molding guy. At some point I'm going to need to be concerned about my legacy being just balding. <laughs> Slide jump to gain speed. Okay. What's going on here? What am I missing? Oh, I'm just like swinging. What the fuck? Yo. Oh, there we go. Oh shit, that's cool actually. What the? Oh, there's one behind me. Wait, can I... Slide kick? Does that do anything? Oh yeah, it does. Well, it does on the style meter at least. Oh my god. Did you just team kill? Oh fuck, no, my sword! <laughs> oh, wait, we got another one. We're good. There we go. Whoa, I didn't mean to throw it. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't realize you guys were both archers. Oh, my God, my aim. It's actually so hard to aim because you have no crosshair. Please tell me his bow is still there. Thank God. Ooh. 
Wait, did I hit him with that first one? I didn't think I did. Oh, I love the bullet time. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I bet the speedruns for this game are cool. Oh, what's this? Demo end. What? That's it? That's it? Wait, did I miss something? That's the whole demo? Oh, it actually is so fun, though, and feels so good. Oh, that's such a bummer. I wish there was more. The easiest way to describe Shady Knight is a melee combat focused movement shooter. Obviously, as an entire statement, that is a bit oxymoronic, but it's essentially true. With some pretty amazing features like a style meter, I'm not going to compare this to a certain other game because I know I do that too much, but if you know, you know. A pretty robust and fluid combo system a la character action games like Devil May Cry or maybe Souls games. Again, I'm not going to say it, but I'm sure fans of a certain game here probably raise their eyebrows a bit at that. It's a little hard to tell if this is a vertical slice of the completed game or if it's more of like a standalone tech demo. But if it is a tech demo, then it's one of the best damn tech demos I've ever seen. As a vertical slice, it's definitely really good, don't get me wrong. It shows off the movement and the potential of the combat system beautifully. It's just short and leaves something to be desired in terms of really understanding how the game will ultimately progress from here. I like the feel of the platforming levels, but for some reason the levels were divided into both platforming and combat levels. And now the platforming levels had combat as well, so the existence of the pure combat levels was just a bit puzzling to me. They weren't unfun, they just felt like they were missing one fun aspect of the game. It's hard to tell though if the demo just wanted to be really deliberate about giving you a taste of each of these mechanics, and that this won't necessarily reflect the finished state of level progression. It's really a pretty minor complaint because the actual gameplay within these beats is just super fun. I'm hoping to see maybe more diversity and creativity in future levels. And again, since this demo is so short, maybe I'm just imagining problems that won't be there in the full game. Every level in the demo had this blue, twilight-drenched castle tower look to them. It is a nice look, but it was already wearing a little thin by the end of the very short demo, so I'm hoping for a little more diversity in the aesthetic of the levels as well in the full release. All in all though, it's really hard to be disappointed with Shady Knight's demo. The developer just focused all their energy on making sure the game was fun, felt good, and looked cool first and foremost, and the demo absolutely shows it. Hey, guess what? You died and God thinks you suck. Go kill some crap? <laughs> Voice acting! Soul card it's like a 6 out of 10. This game is ridiculous. You will now be known as Neon White. They said it. They said the name. But I don't need a tutorial on how to kick ass. I would like a tutorial though, to be honest. It couldn't hurt. Are gonna do a tutorial, right? <laughs> you made the same joke as me. Oh what? Okay, jumping. Jump with space. Got that much. Then I like slide here. <laughs> Purify. Soul card fires like a machine gun. Let's go. Oh, I have to destroy these. There we go. Why am I just like be hopping? It's not helping me. Oh, oh, okay. That throws it away. All right. The jump is a little floaty. That's maybe my one complaint so far. It has been a minute, oh God. Man. Okay. What's up? Neon yellow. That cutscene uh, enriched my life in so many ways. This is sick. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Oh my. It is a dating sim. Just like Ultra Kill. This better not awaken anything in me. Oh, I have to bomb this open. Hell yeah. Oh, you can rocket jump with it. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Oh, I need two here. Let's go. Okay.
Visit the Heavenly Delight kiosk in the th cathedral to redeem an experience beyond your wildest dreams. It can I can I show this on Twitch? I'm getting the impression that this is a, uh, a visual novel. I know I joked about that, but it's more that than, <laughs> than a shooter. Dash horizontally in the direction you're aiming. Oh shit. Yeah, that's sick. So I have to go. Yep. I like the gameplay a lot, actually. Um, my worry is that uh, the, the story part of it is going to just like be super bloated and just kind of undermine like the enjoyment of the rest of the game. It's just too much for a demo. If the pacing is going to be like this for the whole game, I... Probably it's probably gonna have trouble holding my interest. There are elements that I like about it And I do really like the actual like core gameplay, but the the story is testing my patience right now Oh, I have to just dash through him I guess Okay, it just kills him. Yeah, I mean gameplay wise. It's basically a uh, it's like a deck building Movement shooter. That's like the only way I can describe it. I guess it's cool though. I like it a lot. I get it. Oh <laughs> I got a dash. <laughs> oh, we got a few more levels. They're from later in the game, so don't come crying to me if they're too hard. All right. Ooh, this is new. Soul card fires like a submachine gun. Stomp on the ground to create a large blast that destroys most demons and breakable objects. Nice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn it. It's kind of an odd combination, too, because, like, I... I just think that, like, fans of games like this are not, like, normally big on story anyways. So to combine, like, a visual novel with something like this is, uh, is just a bit odd. I don't know. I'll give them props. They had, they had a vision for this game. It is certainly unique. I'm getting really fast at the first part of the level. And then we get past it and I just have no idea what I'm doing. All right, rocket jump. Wait, I, oh, I can't do this though. <laughs> it works, it works. Oh, we get another stop from them. Let's go, it actually worked out. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's fun enough that I still wanna play it even despite like what I think is a pretty weak aspect of it. But I mean, that should just tell you how like fun the gameplay is. I feel like I should just be bombing these guys. Nope, I did it right. I did exactly what I needed to do. The question- oh, we go down here. Oh shit, and then I bounce? Oh, cool level. Man, this level's complex. It's sick though. Yeah, I almost did it again. Thank god it worked. Somehow, against all odds. These little, like, black balloon guys remind me of, uh, Boomerang X for some reason. No! No, 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 no! Okay. Okay. I gotta go like... that. Oh, I'm just out of range. Go! Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, it's the end! <laughs> oh my god. It says rank up, but I'm ranking down. I'm pretty sure I'm ranking down. <laughs> there you go. It didn't, it didn't grace us with any more story at the end there. Unfortunate. I was looking forward to that. Look, I liked Neon White. The combination of deck building on the fly to acquire the movement and gun abilities you need to complete levels is something that I have never once seen done before in a movement shooter. It's unique, bold, and it actually works pretty damn well. So huge kudos to the developer for that. That said, I feel like you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> the story. If you're someone who likes the story of Neon White, I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong or dumb. It didn't really click with me personally, but the actual content of the story is not the big problem with the game in my mind. The problem is that the story makes up one third of this entire demo, 
Yes, I actually calculated the amount of time I spent watching cutscenes versus actually playing the game. And to make matters worse, it's more like two thirds of the time you spend early on in the first half of the demo before the game kind of turns you loose. And it just completely kills the momentum of the game. Full stop. Even if you like the story or just story based games in general, it's almost like there's just two completely different games happening here. It's like playing a game that you enjoy and then at random someone is just saying, no, you're playing this now and forcing you to switch to another game for a while. These elements are just so completely at odds with one another. I've never had a game that I really liked try so hard to get me to not like it like Neon White does. If I were the devs of Neon White, I would really consider stepping back or changing the approach to the story aspect of this game so it isn't a complete distraction from what the game is, in my opinion, actually doing really well. The demo kind of teased a hub world area. I think they could make it like Hades where you can experience the story at a pace you're comfortable with in this hub world and then go out and do your missions rather than forcing it down your throat. I'd say in the demo, at least half the dialogue was even pretty useless and didn't accomplish anything other than bloating the cutscenes and making them drag on. And it really honestly just left me confused about where things were headed. Although I didn't totally hate the initial premise or the idea of the story here. I think it's salvageable since there's some interesting things going on and the story had moments of pretty humorous self-awareness, but I'd really like to see the focus moved somewhat off of the story and for it to be used a little bit more sparingly for flavoring. I'd also like to see some more player autonomy injected, like some actual decision making that affects various things. And it'd be nice if it had a more natural and maybe even optional progression, again like Hades for example, to make it less intrusive in the actual gameplay itself. I think this game could stand on its own completely without any story at all, but since it seems to be something that the devs really want to place a focus on, I do still think they could be doing a much better job of it. The gameplay, like I said already, is just simply great. It's pretty much all the way there already. The visual style, the music, literally everything else is great. I'm just so puzzled by the decisions made with the story here. I think Neon White showed me enough good things that even if the game releases in full and is still bloated with the story in the same way that this demo was, I'll just plan to skip through it to get to the good stuff. But I can't imagine that I'm alone in feeling like the story will turn more than one player off of this game completely, and that feels like a pretty rare thing to say. Hit that like this button. Right. Smash that bell, hit that hit bell this. button, hit Destroy the my bell pussy. button. Subscribe to Dumper Man. <laughs>